Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a video of a small haul, um, from Bargain World and, um, my favorite antique store. So I think first I'll do the antique store. Um, everything that I'm going to show you first was three dollars. Got some of this lace. Some white, maybe maybe an off white. I got this little cap. And you hang it by a paper clip. There's a little paper clip in there. I don't know if it's an ornament, but I thought it was cute. Um, I got this one. Probably not going to be able to see the see it on camera very well, but it's a light blue. It's very pretty. I didn't even realize it was a light blue um, when I bought it. Cause it was all unraveled and a lot for me at least because I can't see color very well um, I won't be able to see the color of the lace unless it's rolled up like this and she she basically has a big basket um, with just lace strewn in there and so this was all unraveled but when I rolled it up when I got home I realized it was light blue so that was pretty cool And then I got this pink doily. I don't need this size, but I got it because it was pink. And um, although I don't wear pink, I very much love pink. So. And I got this tiny, tiny lace. It's a white one. I was trying to, I grabbed all of her smaller laces. She had a lot of lace there, but it was like all four inches or, or wider. And, um, it was gorgeous, but I don't know what to do with it until I learned how to make some dolls, you know, um, cause I could make dresses out of that wider lace, but until I learned how to make the dolls, um, I decided not to buy any. And here's a, um, a, really small ruffled lace and it's yellow you don't see too many bright yellow laces and there's a good amount on all these and then this is three yards of lace brand new it's kind of an off-white <clears throat> And then this one's kind of a peachy cream one. Just two yards of that. These are on open packages. And then this one's cream. Two yards of that. couple of these I haven't had a chance to roll up yet. This is a wider one I bought. A wider one. Um, it's white. She's like freaking, she's kind of a, I almost want to say she, she acts like she has ADHD but she's super hyper and she was freaking out because um, she had just got a truckload of stuff and she has an extremely, um, tiny store. <laughs> so I bought some, of, I bought a couple of the wider laces because I wanted to help her out in my own little way by buying stuff, so. And then this was the last lace I bought. It's kind of a, um, a peachy pink.
And I usually avoid these laces because the top half looks like gauze. But um, I figured I could just cut it off. I like the color, so. So all of this was um, just three dollars. And then she brought in um, a box of stuff and she told me it was garbage. And um, for me, I can do a lot of stuff out of what people consider garbage. I did have to throw away a couple of the baskets, but I'm going to show you what um, was free that she considered garbage and told me to put in the car. So, I'm just going to put this up here. <clears throat> so, first thing, this was a basket. Someone bought it from Bargain Rolled, apparently, because this is a Bargain Rolled tag. But, um, you know, I can really dress this up and put stuff in it and it looked really nice um there was another basket but it was kind of ugly but it had a perfect like well it was perfectly shaped for a flower pot so I put it outside and I'm going to use it to put a flower pot in but yeah this basket was free and then there is this ornament I'm going to hang it on my tree because I like it the wheels actually move so that was free. Um, these flowers were free. Basically everything next that I'm showing you is free. And there's these little ones. Some big ones. These will, will be good for my um, my soap holders that I make which I do have a tutorial on those on my channel and here's some more cute little ones and then here's another ornament my mom said she liked it and that she wanted it for her tree so um, this is going on our tree at Christmas time and then this is a music box And um, someone had uh, fastened it in like this um, decorative paper bag. <laughs> so I basically ripped the paper bag off and I'll find a way to use this music box. That's a perfectly good music box. Why would you throw that away? And then... Oh, there's, um, there's this tree topper, but it's sitting out on our sewing machine. I'll show you, I'll show you at the next video, but we're going to keep it for our tree too, because it's made out of shell, um, an expensive shell. So, this is another tree topper. And I am going to dismantle her. I'm going to rip off her head and her hands. There's this doll project that I want to do that requires a, um, a porcelain doll head and hands. So I'm going to rip off her head and hands. And then um, I don't have any um, teardrop pearl string and I really want some. So this will also get salvaged. I might be able to salvage some of this uh, blue ribbon possibly the wings but yeah she'll get dismantled and, re and reused in other product projects I'm not sure what I'll do with the lights if I'll keep them or not And then it's over a yard of this trim. Really pretty. And then here's some leaves. 
some silk leaves. I'll use those. Um, here is a package of one inch split balls. There's three of them left in the package, but you know, I love wood, I love wood things. I've got so much. So, this certainly doesn't look like garbage to me. And this was an ornament, and I've already ripped a bunch of stuff off here. Because I want to keep this peace sign. And I don't know if I'll keep these two things on here, but I can use them in a different project. But, um... See, this is what I, what I talk about when I say, you know, I reuse garbage because, you know, one person may want to throw this away, but I see potential. You know, if you just clean it up a little bit and stick it on something um, that you've made, you can sell it and make a profit from it and you haven't spent any money with the materials. So, I mean, that's a cute little peace sign. Why would you throw that away? So, and then, there's this tons, two huge strands of diffused pearls, large pearls, fake pearls. Um, and sometimes I use these for like the light bulbs and mini and miniature lamps and stuff like that. But these also um, work really good for like the um, to put onto plaques, like shabby chic plaques, you know, to hang them with. And these are perfect for it. And then. There was this. I'm going to take off the plastic beads and then I'll probably be able to reuse the ribbon for something. It's a nice ribbon. And then this is a piece of a broken ornament. Again, I can reuse this. I just have to attach it to something. And then this is a, you know, however many days till Christmas. And I'm going to, um, I have so much Christmas wood things that, um, I can paint. And I'm going to just dress this up. I'll probably take this off because I don't like it. But I'll dress this up and then, you know, I've got something to sell. So I think that's it for the antique store. So I spent a grand total of $3 there. And then I went to Bargain World. The first grab bag I got, let's see what. I had a 50% off coupon. So this grab bag was $1.50. My table's so cluttered, I don't have any room. So I'm not sure how I'm going to refurbish this because it's already been stained. Something from Oklahoma. No, Minnesota. It's a box from Minnesota. Um, so I may just keep miscellaneous things in here just for storage. Or I may try and sand it down. And paint it. I don't know yet. This box I'm keeping for my jewelry. I love it. So pretty. And it's not chipped up or anything. So I'm keeping it for my jewelry. Here's a textured paper mache box for me to paint. Here's another drop and stuff. Here's another one.
And then this one's a printed has printed floral on floral on it. But I may be able to take the outer layer off and then repaint it or something. I don't mind the inside having this pattern, but I want to do something different with the outside. So those boxes cost a dollar fifty. I got this basket. It looks like a duck. Because I like ducks. Who doesn't like ducks? And this only costs 50 cents. Probably. So, this is again just for storage to hold my things. There. Serving a purpose already. So that was 50 cents. And... And I bought this nice little wooden shelf for, um, me. I don't have a, um... This will be going into my bedroom. And then I can put my um, vintage music boxes on it, or my vintage nightlight. And then... This is a grab bag. My mother has already taken some stuff out of it that she wanted. I paid a dollar for it. Here's a big sand, big sand. Here's a big bag of sand. Um, I can't think of it of anything for it right now, but I'm sure there will be a time. Or I will see a project that I want to do that requires sand. So I'm going to keep it. Um, and hopefully figure out a project for it. And then here's some ugly geckos that somebody made. Lots of different kinds of seed beads. These are guitar strings. I don't play guitar. There's a couple um, unfinished product projects that someone was working on in here. I might see if um, my mom's friend want, wants some of these seed beads because she makes, <sighs> I don't know what they're called. She makes Native American style jewelry that you have to um, make on a loom. You know, you have to use needle and thread in a loom to make the jewelry. And she uses a lot of seed beads, but I don't know if these are up to par in quality enough for what she does, but I'll ask if she wants some of them. Because I've got that huge box of seed beads I found the other day, so. Some plastic beads. some pinheads in here. And then there's just a a bunch of loose stuff in the back. So 
So all of this for a dollar, not too bad. And the decision has been made amongst my mother and myself that um, we're going to have to have a second craft room out in the garage because, and it's going to be the sewing room because um, we've got so much stuff. So, and we don't want to get rid of stuff because as soon as we get rid of it, then we're going to need it and then have to buy it. Okay, and the last grab bag I got, I was extremely happy with this one. Let's see how much I paid for it. Where's the price tag? Okay, I paid a dollar for this next grab bag. Some of the stuff fell out. So there's all these sheets of scrap booking stickers. A bunch of them are still in the package. And I use these a lot, you know, when I'm making cards and stuff. And there's this new pack of bells. I love little bells. Here's a fabric star. Here's a new packet, a large packet of sparkly pom-poms, and I love sparkly pom-poms. Who doesn't love sparkly pom-poms? A new package of sequins. And then there's a bunch of, um, new package, new packages of, um, one and a half inch split balls. There's another package. There's another package. So if someone paid for one of these packages of split balls, I got all this stuff. Here's um, miniature presents. Those are cool. And then lastly, a new package of white pom-poms. And I use these quite a bit too. So I was so excited. When I saw this grab bag. And I try and do my crafts with, um, you know, supplies that I already have. Like, um, like the snowman ornament I was working on last night. You know, I already had the burnout light bulb. I already had the scrap fabric. The only thing I find acceptable to myself to buy new is like paint or glaze you know that stuff I'm willing to buy new but um, basically when it comes to um, the actual supplies I always buy second hand it's that's just the way I am I'm extremely frugal when it comes to that type of thing just because you know I know I can get it cheaper than what stores sell it for I know if I wait for the right moment, then I can get an insanely good deal and save so much money. So, and then there's two more things that I bought at Bargain World. I found this Joy to the World craft book. I paid a dollar for it. I'm always looking for, um, let me just roll up the camera. I'm always looking for um, craft books to give me ideas on what to do. I mean, look at these. I have bells, and I have these cow heads already, the wood shaped cow heads. And the little hearts, I have those. You know, I could do those.
and then the last thing I bought, and this was one of the most exciting things because I'm a huge fan of this product line. Aline's Big Book of Holiday Crafts. And I paid $2 for this. So big, I, I don't think I'll be able to really show it to you on camera. Got so much stuff on my table. But, um... Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay. But there's all this stuff. And I love Aline's products. They're good products. You know, and they're affordable. So, there's all this cute stuff in here. Forest scene candle rings. That sounds interesting. It says you need... Oh, this is... Oh, that's cool. I think these are made um, from her uh, Aline's burnt brown paper bag technique. Those are really cool. I'm still going to try and make those now. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Oh my goodness, look at those. Oh no, I ripped it. Oh, and this shows you how to make flowers out of bread dough. OMG. <gasps> Look at that birdhouse. It's made from a bottle. A two liter bottle. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm going to do that too. That is cute. Looks like the turkey is made from um, pieces of pine cone. That, that almost looks like a nut. Like a... I don't know. That's cute. This is kind of gross. Looks like dog poop. <laughs> I would definitely do it in a different material than whatever that is. Kind of looks like poop. 